I've been looking for you. You! You're... What are you doing here? Oh, that's right. You don't really like me, do you? Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Something terrible has happened here, and yet I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. But you, you've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. You are... my enemy. Your enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. It was long ago. Yes, we met once before. As adversaries. Who... who am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last remaining anti-shadow emergency control weapon. A machine created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy shadows? And you, your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Ten years ago, the night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. For that reason, I was given a personality and a persona. They said I was death, the thirteenth arcana that was never meant to be. And I wasn't in this world for long, before parts of my body escaped me, leaving me incomplete, as I was when I met you. Even so, your strength was far greater than I anticipated. The only possible alternative was to seal you away. And as circumstance would have it, a suitable vessel was available. A human child standing nearby. So I did what was necessary. I see. So I was confined within him. And I led him to my twelve missing pieces without realizing it. And then... 
I remember. I remember everything. It all makes sense now. Who and what I am. Palladian! Stop. Don't be foolish, I guess. There's no way you can win. I'm different than before. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. I exist for nothing else. It doesn't have to be that way. if it cannot fulfill its purpose. I'm sorry. I'm afraid. Don't scare me like that. Is something wrong? Well, it's a full moon tonight. You noticed it too, didn't you, Senpai? Jeez, oh, I'm starting to feel like a workaholic. Oh no, did something? We don't know anything for sure. However, we can't find Igis. Huh. Where would she have gone? I sensed a persona, but it quickly disappeared. And soon after that, I couldn't detect Igis's presence. Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't sensed any of their members, but we can't be positive. I've confirmed Igis's location. She's on the Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on there. I guess. I'm sorry. I... I... Remember... Everything. Who I am. Who he is. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm... sorry. There's no need for you to apologize. You? Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? What's going on? It's all my fault. Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Tell us. Who are you? What are you? I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm the embodiment of all shadows. The Apprizer, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. 
the frightening truth about myself and shadows. It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about shadows? Yes. Shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. She will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. The Apprizer. You. You're the Apprizer? What is this maternal being? She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. Not long after, I fell to Igis, as she did to me. Igis? Is that true, Ryoji? She knew she could not defeat me. So in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. That child grew up, carrying me inside him. And by a twist of fate, he later returned here. As a transfer student. You mean... Yes. I lived inside him. His special persona awakened. As did the Twelve Shadows, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the Apprizer? And you were inside him? None of this makes sense! It's all my fault. I'm sorry. There's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! He appears to be exhausted. Let's let him rest. We have Igis to attend to as well. We'll continue our talk later. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Okay. All right then, I'll see you later. Damn that Ryoji. Is everyone present? Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, there's more I have to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun... Yes. There are many questions we need answered. To begin with, you said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. 
Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. If she is awakened, darkness will once again cover the land and all life will vanish. You mean everyone will die? All life will vanish? Then that must mean... Fall. But it's still possible to keep it from happening, right? What? There's no way to prevent it? Apologizing for Are you saying it's for certain? Yes. You heard the bell. I'm the appraiser, the appraiser of death. My existence is the affirmation of the fall. you will not live to see spring. But that's not too far away. <laughs> what are you guys freaking out about? All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. And that won't be a problem, because we've never lost. Defeating Nyx is... Impossible. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die, and the flow of time is continuous, Nyx cannot be defeated. What? That's bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows. But now, I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. All gifts I received because I was inside him. So, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's coming cannot be avoided. But it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to... kill me. If I were to disappear, all memories of the Dark Hour would disappear with me. As would any recollection of the fate that awaits you. You won't remember anything. The coming of the fall will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives. And in doing so, the time until the fall will be slightly delayed. In essence, I am the same as Nyx and cannot be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's human.
So if death comes from his hands, I think it may be possible. If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation, you will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I... I don't want you to have to endure such pain. I don't want my memories to be erased. To forget everything would be like hiding from the truth. Would that really be such a bad thing? All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. You don't have to decide right now. You have until December 31st, New Year's Eve, to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and become intangible. Ryoji? I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways. So don't worry about me. I'll be back on New Year's Eve. anymore. Ryoji-kun's no longer here. Are you sure? Yes. Ryoji-kun. We will see him again on New Year's Eve. <laughs>